If your Insignia Fire TV doesn't recognize a USB storage, such as a flash drive, hard drive or SSD, if it worked before but now it doesn't show up and you can find your storage after plugging it into your TV, then let me show you some quick and easy ways to fix this. Sometimes, after safely ejecting your flash drive or hard drive from your TV, it doesn't show up when you plug it back in. And you can fix this by simply restarting your TV. First unplug your USB drive, then we'll restart our TV by going to settings, then devices and softwares, then select restart and press select. Confirm it again and your TV will restart. And after your TV turns on, plug in your thumb drive and now your TV should detect your USB drive. If this storage still won't show up, then you need to make sure that you have USB debugging turned off. So to check that, we'll need to go to device and software once again. Here, if you don't see an option called developer options, then you are good to go. But if you have this option, then go into it and make sure that USB debugging isn't turned on. If it's turned on, then simply turn it off, then disconnect and reconnect your USB drive, and now your TV should be able to read this storage. If you're still having issues, then see if your USB flash drive, hard drive or SSD meets the following requirements. 1. Make sure that your USB drive has at least USB 3.0 connectivity. Secondly, you need to make sure that the storage is formatted to FAT32. And make sure that the storage device has no more than 128GB of storage. If it's larger than that, then it may stop detecting your USB drive. When you plug in your USB drive, you should get prompted by the TV to do the formatting. And from there you can choose if you want to use as device storage or external storage. Or you can also use a computer to back up your data first and then do the formatting. And after formatting, your USB drive should pop up on your TV and you'll be able to use it right away. However, if the issue persists, then you can try a different storage device or a different USB port if available. And if none of the storage works, then this may be a hardware issue and you should contact a technician to get it checked. Let us know how it went and I'll see you in the next one.